Okay, so what I'm going to be showing you today is the faux flat felled seam. And this is the seam that you would see, um, for example, on your jeans or jean jacket or coat. And it would normally have a surged edge that would be stitched over as opposed to a regular flat felled that has the seam um, folded under. So you're going to begin with the first seam that you're going to be doing and that would be your plain stitch and I usually go in a little bit more than my I add to my seam allowance basically I would add an eighth of an inch extra so maybe five eighths of an inch and then you go ahead and stitch the seam all the way down I would probably recommend pinning first, but just for the sake of the video and it's muslin, I did not do that, but I would recommend that you do that. Okay, now we are going to Press the seam open to set the stitches like we usually do, and I'm using this uh, tool that I always use as a little roller, um, but you can use the iron, but just so that for the video sake of me getting up and down and putting it under the ironing board, on the ironing board, it just takes a little more time. And now I'm going to go ahead and press my seam to the other side in whatever side that you're going to end up with the stitching on is the side that you would be um, pressing this to. So now I'm going to trim off the excess on the side that will have the fold over on top of it. So just decide which side you want to do that to and then we will trim that off. I like to trim it down to maybe one eighth or one quarter of an inch. If it's really thick fabric, just really use some good judgment on how thick it, of a seam allowance you want to leave, you know, with the bulk. If it's really thick, you don't want to cut it very, very short because it'll add like this ugly like ledge right there. You might want to even go a little further. And then I'm going to press it back to the side that we decided we were going to do the stitching on. Now this edge here where I'm putting the pen would be where you would have either your serging, your zigzag, your um, binding, whatever finish you are deciding to do on there. Um, so just pretend that that's on there. And now I'm going to go ahead and just do an edge stitch, maybe one eighth of an inch into the seam because this would have a finish on it. So you, depending on what finish you have will determine how far in you need to do your stitch line. If there was a binding on here, which isn't typical, but could be a nice detail, then you would go in, you know, on the stitch in the ditch on the binding. So you would be coming in maybe a quarter of an inch. And so this is how it would look on the inside. That's where my, pretend my serging is, for example. And then this is how it'll look on the outside. So it has the same look as a flat felt seam. It's just done differently and less bulky. And that's it. 